This is about $40,000 I spent to make this one bag. So it's good that it didn't get lost in the mail. All right guys, so you'll remember a little under a year ago, I made a video saying that I was going to start a company with $100,000 instead of just going out and buying another car. And we will see where that company goes and I will buy a car with whatever profits or non-profits exist from that company. So whether I was buying a Hugo, a bus pass, or a Bugatti was to be seen. Now that we're creeping up on a year, I figured an update was in order. And here's where we stand. Obviously, I'm going to have to extend the timeline out to probably a year and a half or two years. But the uh, product exists and the process has taken a little bit longer than I would have liked. Now, with this, I've made the suitcase and I've gotten a prototype. Now, the prototype doesn't look like what my suitcase is ultimately going to look like. It was sort of a proof of concept. So we had to find a manufacturer, which was not easy because a lot of manufacturers wanted a guarantee of like a million to 10 million bags to even start up the tooling process. And I'm like, look, I don't guarantee 10 million of anything, right? Like I'm not, you want me to guarantee you a, a $30 million contract that's a non-starter. I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know how much money it's going to make, but I don't need to get the price per unit down to 50 bucks. Uh, I don't mind a smaller profit margin. So right now I'm looking if there's a boutique or even like a, a startup luggage company, a luggage company that's established, somebody that wants to take my prototype and turn it into a, a final version that I can then sell. But until then, uh, here is me scoring my prototype this is about six months ago, just to give you a timeline. And this is my initial reaction. This is going to be the first time that I have actually seen my prototype luggage. Now, I've seen photos of it, so don't get excited because prototypes, if you think about a prototype, it's not a finished product. It's a proof of concept. This knife is much better than that. All right, prototype luggage, come to Papa. This is about $40,000 I spent to make this one bag. So it's good that it didn't get lost in the mail. Here she is, back front. Now, the best thing about this luggage company is I haven't told anyone what the trick to the luggage is. And this is going to look like a standard piece of luggage, right? It's not the final design, but it is the wolf in sheep's clothing in that it has the functionality that I was looking for. So if you look from the side here, there are two zippers. Why are there two zippers? Well, funny you ask. Let's see how this works. My frustration has always been mixing clean and dirty luggage, right? And I'm like, why is, why do I always have to mix it? Or like, oh, why do I have to go pick a sock bag or a clothing bag from the hotel and use it to stuff my dirty laundry in? Because at a certain point in time, that's, I'm fixing somebody else's problem. I have now fixed that problem by having a movable partition in the luggage. So you're going to have 100% clean luggage when you fill this side. When you take out your dirty luggage and put it in, you just put it in the other side. And let's see how this works. And here you go. These are color samples. Excellent. And this partition in the center separates your clean and your dirty luggage without ever having to lose any volume in the center. So it's not a split in half where half can be clean, half can be dirty. This is 100% clean or 100% dirty or whatever, 93 and seven, 98 and two, whatever you want. You can have one pair of clean socks on the other side. That was the genius behind the luggage. Let's test it out. I'm traveling essentially for the next two weeks. So I'm going to be my own test mule. See how I like it, send any revisions come up with a final luggage design and a name and 
do all sorts of fun stuff and see if we can get this thing moving. So if you're wondering what a, let's just say $40,000 bag looks like, it's subtle, but it's my bag. So now that I got my bag, I took it on one or two trips. I took it to Italy with me. I took it down to David Patterson's wedding. That was the inaugural trip. And uh, going around the world, let's just say, I don't know, like four or five flights, I noticed the bag starting to get a little bit beat up already. All right, one trip down. This is my trip to Italy. And if you open up the top of my bag, you will see the clean clothes. Unused, my Vessi sneakers, some receipts, and this stuff was all unused, so it can go right back into the rotation. And then on the other side is everything that was used, which makes this very easy to not have to wash everything. This is all dirty. Dirty on this side. And that's it. So Vishal is here. He's going to go to Europe. Let him borrow this. And we'll get some more feedback. Functionality-wise, it was very good, but I did see some shortcomings that I wanted to address. See, prototype life. This is coming off. And I don't like the play in these wheels. There's too much play, so it snags a little bit. Before the revision goes back to the company that made this prototype, uh, I wanted to see what their capabilities were because I want to make sure that they're capable of producing my final bag. I don't want to go to Honda and look to make a Ferrari and end up with Honda saying, this is the closest we come to a Ferrari and it's not good enough. So I'm asking them to send me over their best proof of their best work so I can make sure that, that my standards will fit within their, within their capabilities. If not, I have to find another company I do have the concept is now established and I just have to figure out who's going to end up stamping these things out. Now, to fund all of this, obviously it's going to cost a significant amount of money to fund the initial production of the bag. I think I'm going to offer up, and I guess to you guys first, the first thousand bags at a discount and then also the first thousand bags as sort of a um, trial. Right, so I wanna get people out there to put some miles on these before I go make 100,000 or 150,000 bags. I wanna get 1,000 people out there traveling the world, experiencing, uh, giving me feedback, and seeing if there's anything else that we should dial in or look to change, or maybe somebody experiences it I don't experience. I wanna get millions upon millions of miles on these bags to see how they hold up, and that's where we're at. So. Uh, if you want to be one of those, uh, I'll probably include uh, entries. We're going to do a giveaway to go to the Italy trip uh, for adventure drives. And obviously, if you're buying luggage or a traveler anyway. So if you want one of the first thousand bags, go ahead. I'll put a link in the description. It'll put you to my web store. I'm going to do a Kickstarter ultimately when I have a final version and we're, we're getting ready to go. When I've got my one final prototype before we go and st start stamping these things out when I'm happy with it. Then we'll go and sell whatever millions of dollars worth of, uh, worth of bags to people. But until that point, I'm going to limit it to a thousand bags through my website before we start launching the Kickstarter and everything. So if you're interested in scooping one of those up, it will also not only get you the, the bag to keep forever uh, and just require you to give me a little bit of feedback along the way. But when the uh, final version does come out, you can get it for 50% off. Uh, I think that's a a fair way of going about it. So you'll now get two bags. You can keep the first one, gift the first one, and then you will get the final one, which I'm uh, more concerned about the looks and the functionality versus just the functionality and durability testing that we're looking to do with it. So there's your update on the luggage company. Obviously you've seen the, uh, the two videos of me traveling and, and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And I think the idea is great. I think this bag is long overdue. If somebody else comes out with a similar bag, just know you saw it from me first. So that's just somebody railroading over me. Uh, the patent issue on this one would have been significant, uh, probably several years and several hundred thousand dollars. I figured I would just make the bag, bring it to market first, and that's where we're at now. So if somebody rips me off, trust me, luggage is not my dream. Uh, I did want a bag. I made my bag. It's now cost me about $30,000 to make this bag. And we're about to go a little bit deeper um, to make 
something really cool. And uh, I think it, it's, I don't want, like, it's something that it's just luggage, right? This is what you expect luggage to do. And everybody's had a workaround on how to separate their clean and their dirty luggage. And it shouldn't be on you to try to figure out a solution to a problem that should exist. So I think I've solved that problem for everybody. You're welcome. And if you want to be one of the first thousand bags, hit that link in the description. Uh, we'll keep this series going. As I said, I'm limiting to five videos. So uh, we'll keep this going and we'll let you know how it goes into the next phase. And we'll keep you in, in the loop as to how much it's going to cost me and ultimately what car I'm going to be stunting around in. It's going to be pretty cool to see uh, this guy driving around the Pagani, right? Pagani, not that is like a little toy one, you know? Could be a toy one, could be a real one. I don't know. I'm excited to see where this goes. And it was, uh, it's better than going to Vegas a couple of times a year. It's better to invest in yourself and see what happens. Rob Ferretti, thank you for watching. Hope it inspires you to do something other than luggage uh, <laughs> and steal my idea or uh, get you a bag that's gonna travel with you around the world and make you happy that you can separate your clean and your dirty luggage and flip your bag over on the last day of the trip and have that one glistening outfit sitting there waiting for you to put it on. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Quick shout out to my own company, Adventure Drive. So we do these driving events all over the world. 2023 is no exception. We've got three trips coming up. One from Washington, D.C. to Nashville. This is from April 26th to the 30th. Then in July, we're doing a trip to Italy, which is going to be phenomenal. It's all northern Italy starting and ending in Rome. You're going to love that one. And if you can't make it overseas or to the East Coast trip, you've got plenty of runway for the September 20th to 25th drive, starting in Napa Valley and ending in Las Vegas. That's going to be a great trip as well. Check them out. I put a link right below in the description of every video. Hope to see you out there.